I'm gonna walk around. Those guys can do their thing and. Uh, You got your walkie on? Yeah. All right. Here's what Emerson looks like today. 1908. Look at that. Some of the stuff you never notice. thing where I don't want to rush to do videos however I want to get all the, all the feel to it you know what I mean Does that makes sense to you you know the feel that whole piece collapsed on all these windows wide open we've done this quite a few times and uh, I just thought it'd be a different perspective to look at the outside of it and look at it close Memories, you remember this wall here? Here's the dedication uh, stone boulder. It's the front of it. Look at this. It's a humongous school. That's the picture. Just gonna try and look at the detail of the outside of the building. Basically, is, uh, we do capture the feel of it as much as I can. close on the stuff. I mean, you see pictures of it, but there's a real close detail. If I see something, you know, worth going up and looking at or zooming in on it, make sure I do that. And Spalding is right next door to it. Trying to not swing my camera fast. There's Spalding School right next door to it. The cement looks good. That's that's some good cement. It don't even have a crack in it. Look at that. Not one crack in it. Pulls with the chair, I guess. schools here lately. This is a real deal badlands boys and girls. This is no exception. Look how just busted it is. Shame it's good like that, isn't it?
I've seen a lot of uh, yearbook pictures taken over here. Sorry, everybody. I'm being a little bit quiet. I'm just in awe and the wind's blowing, so. Pretty much concentrating on these ones. Don't really have a lot to talk about it because I didn't go to this school, but. trespassing they bolt the front door look at this so I'm saying you know it's how it is around here it's always been that way since we were kids I'm not pointing a finger I'm just saying those there doesn't seem to be anybody in charge of the well-being not walking to look at them start tearing these down. We just want to document them. I just want to document them. I hear the point figures to say how bad they are. I know. I think everybody knows that by now. Preaching to the choir kind of thing. It's just the blight of it, you know. When people see this, you know, when I see this, it's depressing. How can you not be depressed looking at this garbage everywhere? Destruction, you know, this should have been took care of a long time ago. There should have been a lot of things done, but now, now here we are. Here it is. None of them are worth nothing now. Nobody wants to buy them. The only reason they would buy them is to tear them all down. That's not on me, you know. So whoever's out there thinking, you know, what are you guys doing? What is your purpose? We have got more buildings torn down, places boarded up, places cleaned up after doing a video of it two weeks later a month later it's gone that's 30 years and i'm proud of that and i hold that i hold that close to my heart i'm proud of that i'm not saying it's all because of me it's because the people will be you know seeing it and say hey look at this he's right why is why do our children have to look at this this was built for our children and our grandchildren and everybody. And a generation dropped the ball. And then after on, after that, everybody dropped the ball. Nobody picked the ball back up because it got to be too big of a, a hassle. Then it was too much of an issue. You know, the asbestos and, and then the, this and that. This and, you know, this could have been taken care of. These are worth reinvesting in, but we don't have it now. My grandchildren won't see it. So, you know what? That's that. It's sad that it has to be like this. But don't dare blame me for pointing it out, for walking around taking a video of it. No, anyway, enough of me. Here's the back of it. I believe that we're born with that uh, natural urban explorer in all of us, I think. You know, I really do think so. And uh, I think this, things like this just so appealing to people. Some people don't get it, but those that do, they know what I mean. Being an explorer, it's almost like it's in your blood, you know what, I mean? you know what I'm saying? hearing your school stories if you went here are you you know a lot of parents that I know went here my mom went here you know, look at this people seem to remember that this stuff is out around here too this is the kind of stuff I like to see
all the older schools had these. It was like almost built all the same. They didn't have no foot. Maybe they didn't have vocals up there. They're just gone. What is that? Water, electricity, electricity. Anybody? These have been there forever. <laughs> These come with the deal here.